so you update the wiki. <laughs> like, the next day he comes in, he's like, yeah, dude, that thing's got like 1.5 million views in two days or something. Oh, yeah, um, dude. If they only had gotten like the Zapters. Uh, see, that's what I actually said. I was like, I really expected, like, Zapters got like a whole YouTube video of them or something. But, um, but from what I understand, like, uh, PewDiePie did a thing where, like, he asked people to bring him stuff, and no one brought him a disaster. Gotcha. Some, some kid from Oklahoma, I think, uh, sent him that gotcha. Hamlin clip. We so Blue Zaf getting the uh, patented super technical up throw, up air, rest the miss tech. Green Team's doing a really good job boxing out. Uh, Bugging out both players, making sure they can't assist each other with their recoveries. Ooh. I think he made it. Yeah, Luzap didn't need to do that. He just needed to get away from the ledge. Yeah, that's ge that's game one. Yeah. I don't think we're going to I think he really is uh, thinking stock. about that decision that he just made. Because uh, now the Fox has one stock. He was already down. Yeah. Oh, you waited too long. I think he, I think he pressed the button thinking he had a jump, realized he didn't, and then uh, did the air dodge upward. Which obviously, he could have lived had he just air dodged up to begin with. But her aerial drift is crazy after her uh, up dodge, up dodge, air dodge. Oh wow. my god! That was really <laughs> that sick. That killed at like 30. And that's pure reaction, man. Yeah. So covering everything he could have done there with a uh, combination of needles and that runaway up smash. It's really smart. Yeah. That whole try not to hit each other thing. Yeah. Yeah, so what do you do now? Uh, that's Combo. a good DI. Oh, no. <laughs> Fail. Yeah. That's okay, though. They're up. so far ahead, I don't yeah. think it really matters he, too much. He ends up on a different YouTube video for that one. Ooh. Yeah, that was sick. Realizing mm -hmm. he'd be out of hits done in time. Man, this, uh, this water's pretty close. It's actually pretty warm in here with all these uh, bodies. As a Spacey, I've always wondered, like, if you're in that offstage situation where you know, like, Fox is going to come and shine you or someone's going to come and hit you, is the right answer to try to shine and clank with whatever comes and hits you? Because, you know, you have that one frame of invincibility. I can't think of much else you can do. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess it, you know, a lot of it depends, you know, do you have your double jump, right? If you have your double jump, you can kind of play some shine stall games and stuff. Um, Obviously, like, Fox is going to have a, you know, that answer is going to be yes a lot more often for Fox. Right. Yeah. That was a nice forward air from Uzaf to knock Hamlin off the ledge right after his invincibility ended from grabbing it. Yeah, if he had gotten that back air, man, that would have been it for Fox. Ooh. Quick enough reaction time, I think that would have been a really nice rest. I'm not sure if it would have killed Sheik at 12, but uh, it would have done a lot of damage either way. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if Blue Zap just didn't see the Fox there or what, because I don't think he had to go that far off stage and get back aired like that. Uh, he can uh, bring him back, yeah. Wow, that pound just uh, so swinging Fox off stage. Grab the ledge. The downest for punish. DI. Oh, no, didn't trust his teammate for that. Oh, yeah, Blue Zap just clearing space to get Johanny back on stage. It's almost like, yeah, that was nice. Okay, that was, uh, that was really smart. Great decision. Yeah. I totally love that. Yeah. And, so, you know, and in his mind, do you think he said, like, okay, Fox is going <laughs> to run over here. Now, Jigs is asleep. I need to shine. Or do you think he just felt it? Like, I totally think he just felt it. Yeah. I yeah. mean, there's no way he could yeah. think that coherent of a sentence. Right. Before. And in, in the time that it, uh, you know, another thing that I've heard that's similar is speed reading. Uh, like, the trick to speed reading is a lot of times just... Not actually saying the words in your mind. Yeah, Jigglypuff. Hmm. I've never heard that. I know, uh, so I went to school for music, yeah. and I was in the UNT jazz program for a while. Cool. And in jazz, if you guys don't know anything much about that, a lot of the times you improvise solos. You make up melodies on the spot. Uh, and a lot of it is combining, like, what you feel with a huge library of knowledge, but you can't think about like all the music yeah. theory and stuff. You know, you just, you just bring it out. It's supposed to come out naturally. I'm which sure is really hard, really hard for people to do. I'm sure you've uh, heard the jazz drums played over melee. Yes, yeah. that's so was sick. that not sick? Yeah, yeah. 
But to your point, I mean, if you want to draw similarities, right, like, once you get those toolboxes, you know, you know the keys and modes and, you know, patterns on your instrument that you can safely do within a certain... Yeah, you get the tech. Yeah, and, and it's exactly the same as Melee. You know what your toolbox is, and you just have to decide kind of how to use the tools on the fly. And, uh, you know, it's the same concept. Like, there are really great jazz musicians, and there are really terrible ones. <laughs> you <laughs> yeah, know? that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, and they just... Just like Melee players. Yeah, they're just in love with the wrong thing, you know? Like, uh, in this game, if you were to, you know, just love Bowser's Floor Smash, you know, it's like, <laughs> Dude, it's the wrong. the worst thing to fall in love with. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, exactly. It's just wrong. And, you know, there's, like, less extreme examples of that, right? Like, if you just, if you love... Uh, Some people like Roy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> A lot of exactly. people like Roy. And <laughs> yep. And then you get memed on the on the interweb and, you know, reevaluate yourself, right? Become I feel like a lot of times low tier mains uh, have that mentality if they can never lose, there's just sometimes they don't win. Yeah. There is a, um, there's a certain safety net there that you don't have when you play the best character in the game because then how do you make the excuse, you know? What... Why did you lose with your fox when you've been playing fox longer than the guy next to you's been alive? <laughs> you know, <laughs> for real. <laughs> yeah. No yeah. Johns. Yeah, it's just you know, you fell in love with the wrong thing, man. You need to fall in love with uh, shield grab, up throw, up, up air, and uh, shine, wave dash, sub smash. And once you fall in love with those, then you will be playing the correct kind of melee, right? That was a really smart decision. If uh, if he really did take the time to look at the percentages and know that that was going to kill Puff and not Sheik, then good on him, man, because that's, that's a certain level of awareness that's not easy to do all the time. Or not easy to have. That shine, or uh, shine didn't clump out quite quick enough, or he didn't execute the shine quite quick enough to uh, save his teammate there, but it was a good idea. The rest was really, really nice execution, yeah. and we see So he gets up, yeah, get up attack. The game is completely changed now. Yep. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, I want to say Peach's down smash yeah. is the best move, and then we just we see this, and you're just like, oh my goodness. Yeah, you know, it's like it's like Peach's down smash is is better against floaties, but rest is obviously better against fastballers. You know, because it's it just kills them, <laughs> and like you know, yeah, you can kill floaties with it, but it's not as easy as grab up throw rest. You know. And it shouldn't always be that easy, but I mean, it's a fast throw. Like the, a lot of times you don't even expect to get grabbed, and then you have to already have been diing correctly. <laughs> Johnny says, "Get away! This is my yeah, combo." Yeah, <laughs> no chaos. Yeah, man. We might uh, they played yeah, it. Ooh, that's, that's probably the end of Fox. Last yeah. talk. Yeah. It's turning into a one talk situation. Yeah. Even with all, all these rests, we're still seeing uh, green team pull ahead here. Surprise, actually. That means you're outplaying something fierce if you're just dying at 30 and still ahead. Yeah, I almost think probably my my eyes have been in the wrong place, and right. I should have been watching what has happened to poor Jahani uh, this match because I was watching, you know, the puff to see how many rests she gets because I feel like that's kind of the deciding factor here. Yeah, they still killed Jigs at 65, man. That's uh, that's super. That's one super amazing part about this game. The best character in the game is so fun to hit. Yep. You like, right. <laughs> if if the if Jigglypuff was like hands down like frame data wise and all that, like, like the best character in the game, I don't think Melee would be loved so much. But no. like everyone loves comboing the crap out of the top. Fastballers keep this game going, dude. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. I mean, I agree with that. you want you know for the spectators. You want one fastballer on the screen. It, you know, if you got two floaties on the screen, it's it's daunting to to appreciate like a uh, seven and a half minute Jigglypuff Peach match. I don't know what just happened. Uh, there was a timeout. Uh, thanks for killing me, guys.